I think uh, it is a very historic uh, occasion that uh, we are all part of this 250th session of the Rajya Sabha. And uh, I am particularly, personally also very honored, having been a member of this house on many occasions and also of the other house, also on many occasions. And uh, I also would like to say that uh, the founding fathers of the Constitution have uh, truly applied a lot of their, I would say, wisdom in uh, framing uh, our Constitution. And of course, the most important fact that both houses, there have been many instances across the world where there are two houses of parliament, as has been mentioned by some members. But in itself, the Rajya Sabha is unique. Because I don't think any other country in the world would have a council of states. There could be another house, a senior house, an elder's house, but a council of states is specially, uniquely designed to keep the federal structure of our country intact. And also because we have a unique uh, position in terms of population and diversity. A country of 130 crore people definitely need not follow any other model. It should have its own model. And I am very happy that our uh, framers of the Constitution, especially Dr. Ambedkar and all the other people along with him, have applied their mind in this direction. And I quote uh, one, uh, as explained by Dr. Ambedkar in the Constituent Assembly, a federation envisages a dual polity or two levels of government. The government at the center and the states are co-equal in, in the sense that they derive their legitimacy and authority from a common source, the Constitution itself. The upper house in parliament fashioned as a council of states can be understood as an institutional arrangement through which constituent units become part of the decision-making process at the central level itself. Well, anyway, sir, a lot of other friends have spoken, but I would only like to say that uh, this uh, house has its own unique character, but it should also be preserved. In the United States, as many members have said, small states do not find adequate representation. In the United States, the Senate has got 100 members. The smaller state, even like Hawaii, has got two members in the Senate. And the larger states also have equal number, that is two members in the Senate. It reflects the true federal polity and also gives the due weightage to every state in the country. And that should also find somewhere a restructuring of the Rajya Sabha to reflect that sentiment here. Sir, uh, over the years, Rajya Sabha has also evolved. Many things have changed. Uh, but I can tell you, sir, that what I feel as a member and having been a senior member of this house for many years, that what is lacking is that there is no adequate representation to voice our sentiments. Yes, people have been talking of two major parties. Well, they have every right to have the right to speak as much as they want and whatever is due to them. But smaller parties do not get the adequate re representation at, at all. I have been, as I said, a senior member. I do not want to speak on many occasions only because if I am told at the very beginning you have to speak for three minutes or two minutes, I might as well not apply my mind because I can hardly start my speech before which I am asked to stop. And this being a commemorative session, I do not know why there is a restriction of time being imposed. This session could have been extended beyond today, it could have been extended till tomorrow. I don't think the heavens would have fallen. But that notwithstanding, I think some serious points have been made and uh, these need to be reflected in our deliberations. Sir, uh, one observation which I have. If this is a house of elders or a second house which is a validation of what has been done in the other house, or a corrective uh, house where something which needs to be re-looked at what has been passed in the other house. Why do we have a whip on every issue? It's a suggestion I'm giving. It may not be accepted by people, it's a suggestion. Whip can be issued sparingly. Otherwise, if the voice of the people is to be reflected, if we have some kind of a wisdom which we are supposed to impart in this house, why are we not allowed to speak our minds more freely and to vote even according to our conscience. Of course, I can understand if some earth shattering issue is there where every party applies its whip and therefore members have to follow it. But otherwise, in most cases, I think members should be allowed to voice their 
sentiments and to vote according to what they feel is in the larger interest of the nation. I think the House of Elders can make a beginning, can make a change, which will be actually in the benefit for the nation and it will maybe start a new trend for people to be, I mean, we are all responsible people. I don't think even if my party tells me to vote something wrongly, I am going to be doing something, you know, against my conscience. I think this house has got that character and I think somewhere we can make a small beginning. Please come. That will be good. Please. I know, sir, when you entered only, I knew I am going to be asked to sit down. So, it's not a reflection on anything, sir. Sir, I have said that 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 I Standing Committee is our new project in the last 10-15 years. It was a good thing. Look, in the first time we were deliberating in the sunset. We didn't get to talk about every subject. After coming to Standing Committee, there is a sunset representative character. There is a proportionate representation of both houses. And today, you can see, you will see all of us in the sunset, you will have seen the sunset in the sunset, you will have seen the sunset in the sunset. कि हमको बहुत सारी चीजों पे जो अन्यथा हम यहाँ पर बहस नहीं कर पाते हैं उस स्टैंडिंग कमिटी में हम लोग अच्छे से बहस उसके पर कर पाते हैं तो ये एक अच्छा एक एक प्रणाली एक नई थी ये कोई हमारे पहले परंपरागत नहीं थी ऐसे हम नई परंपराओं को भी इस सदन के माध्यम से हमने शुरू करने की कोशिश करना चाहिए ये मेरा आपको सुझाव है और अभी ऐसा है सर अभी हमको समय दीजिए ना प्रधानमंत्री ने भी अभी एनसीबी की तारीफ आपके पास समय रहता मैं देता तीन मिनट दीजिए छह मिनट आप बोल चुके प्रधानमंत्री जी ने भी एनसीबी की इतनी तारीफ कर दी तीन की जगह छह मिनट ऑलरेडी बोल चुके कहा ना हमारी तारीफ की हम बेल में नहीं आते दो पांच मिनट खराब नहीं करते सर सर मेरा 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 इसमें कुछ ज़्यादा समय लेने का मंसा नहीं है क्योंकि और लोग भी हैं मगर मेरा इतना ही कहना है कि ये हाउस ये एक कॉन्शियंस जिसको कहते हैं देश की आत्मा का एक प्रतीक है इस हाउस में कुछ अलग तौर तरीके प्रणाली अगर हम अपनाने की कोशिश करें और सभी को यहाँ पर एक अपनी बात व्यक्त करने का सही मौका देंगे तो हमारे देश के लिए हमारे संसदीय प्रणाली के लिए हमारे कोई भविष्य के जो भी हम कानून बनाते हैं उसके लिए एक बहुत अच्छी परंपरा होगी आज के इस ढाई सौवें अपने जो बैठक है इसके लिए मैं बहुत बहुत आपको और सदन को बधाई देता हूँ